Hi guys, you're welcome back to my Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass. If you're just joining us, you're welcome. My name is Simo King, and today we're going to be diving into the video effects section of Adobe Premiere Pro. First, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Cineon Converter in Adobe Premiere Pro to change your video from a log profile to a Rec. 709 Gamma profile. Now, the Cineon Converter is used to quickly color correct and color grade your videos. But it's important that you know that this is not a precise science. It's not going to give you the same result as using your lookup tables, your LUTs, or manually color grading and color correcting your videos by yourself. However, if you find yourself in a situation where you have log footage that you need to convert quickly and conveniently without access to a lookup table or the time to manually color grade it by yourself, this will be the best technique for you. To begin with, we're going to go ahead to bring out our Lumetric scope table. If you can't find this, you go over to your windows here and you select your Lumetric scope table. And once you click on that, it should pop up. If it doesn't pop up, you can find it between your source clip, your effects control, your audio clips here, and you'll find it as one of the options here. You can drag it out. I think that should be easy to understand. Now, the reason why I prefer to use Lumetric scope is that when color grading or color correcting, we cannot depend on our natural eyes to give us a perfect interpretation of the videos that we are seeing, but the Lumetri scope will give us a perfect interpretation of the different color forms. As you can see over here, we are seeing that there is an excessive exposure of white over here. We can see that there is an exposure of colors arrayed over here, and this area over here is void of colors that needs to be present here. I'm going to be explaining more of that to you in a bit. Now, the first thing I want us to do is to move from our editing tab over here into the effects tab over here. Today, we're going to be talking about the video effects section. So we'll just select the video effects section. Now, when you click the video effects section, you will find a lot of effects. Now, in this tutorial, we'll be talking about every video effect that we have in Adobe Premiere Pro. But because of how long I know this video is going to be, we are going to break them into several parts. So this is part one. So to begin with, let's dive right into the utility folder here and select the Cineon Converter. So I'm going to go ahead and drag my Cineon Converter here. And immediately I do that, you will notice a kind of change in the display of our videos over here. That's one of the ways you would use to know that an effect has been added to your videos. But that is not necessarily the scenario in all cases. There are some effects that you will drag into your videos and then there will be no physical display on your video on the screen here. You will have to manually come to your effects control panel and tweak the effects to see what we have done. So if you come below now, you can see the new effects we have added, the Cineon Converter effect. Let me take this down. So if I off this FX here, you can see we have off the effect that we added. It has gone back to the original form it was. But if we switch it back on, the effect has automatically been added. So now I'm going to go ahead and add this to this other clip. So I know that I've added the effect to both clips. So you can see what the clips look like. So the first thing you want to do is to let me take this up so you, we can use our Lumetric scope to view the effects as we are adding it. So the first thing you want to do, you're going to go down to your Cineon effects over here. And on your conversion type here, you will change this from log to linear to linear to log. And automatically, you will see that it has automatically attempted to change it from a log profile to a Rec. 709 profile. Now, I will do the same thing to this other clip here. I will scroll down and change it from log to linear and then to linear to log settings. Now, the next thing you want to do is we would like to take note of our Lumetric scope over here. Now, if I should switch this effect off, you will notice that the colors were all aligned at the top. But the moment we added the Cineon Converter effect, it manually tried to make the colors spread evenly around the video, but we're going to attempt to balance it even further. It's important that you take note of the internal black points. This moves from only zero to one. You don't need to touch that. The internal white points also, you don't need to touch that. It goes from zero to one. Now the 10 bit black point has to deal with the number of black light or shadows that is in your videos. So we can go ahead and adjust this. So I'm taking this down. I want it to reach just a point of this zero over here. So I'm going to take it to the point where it exactly just touches 
zero in the line there i think um 200 is fine so you come over to your 10 bit white point line over here and then i would like to adjust it to the point where it just goes a little bit above i will adjust it to the point where it just al aligns with the white here i don't want it to be too much so i'll just take this to i think 746 here kind of does it for me i'm not trying to do but it depends on your clip also you want to make use of the lines the lumetri scope and also you want to compare it with what you are seeing physically so i've done this now i've changed it from linear to log and so one thing now you want to notice right now in this clip is that the background just seems like a plain white background so and then i can see some kind of white that is falling off on his shirt over here the white seems excessive if you look at your lumetric scope here you will see that there's still this white that is really excessive let me take this down so what i'll do is i'll try to increase my highlight roll off and while i do that you will notice that i am reducing the whites that is excessive over here so so if you notice now the cloud is no longer as white as it was the excessive white that was on him has reduced let me take it back down so you can see how excessive it was so i've reduced it now now the gamma over here i can choose to increase the gamma or reduce the gamma so that it's a little bit blended because the shadow was just um too much so i'll just increase the gamma too close to I think this does it for me 3.0 so i'll just add the same figures from this to this other clip over here 3.01 150 746 200 okay 110 seems fair on this video so the gamma the gamma looks okay like this 2.80 actually looks fine on this other clip that's the thing about videos so it can because we have changed the camera angle it has also affected the amount of exposure and light on the on this other video here i mean just make it a little brighter and so this i might want to take it as high as that level so if i come back to the beginning of this clip now if i should switch this off the Sinian effects you can see what the clip looked like initially but if i switch it on you can see the difference that we have added all right guys so that's it on how to use the Sinian converter effect to convert your videos from a log profile to a vec 709 profile in adobe premiere pro now this might not be a complete way to color correct or color grade your video it might not give you that aesthetic feel that you desire but it's a fast way to edit your videos when you shot in log profile mode and you need to quickly export and give it to a client.